Dominican Friars in Rwanda. Meditation on Tuesday of the 10th week in ordinary time. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Dear brothers and sisters, praise be to Jesus forever. On this Tuesday of the 10th week in ordinary time, liturgical year B, Jesus reminds us of our mission as Christians to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Salt is used in many things, including the seasoning and the preservation of food, the cleaning of wounds, etc. Like salt, light is vital to human beings. It allows communication between people, the maintenance of the environment, exchanges of all kinds, etc. Thus, Christians are called to act in the world in the manner of salt and light in their respective uses. Nowadays, many people have lost the joy of living because they think life goes too fast and is full of bitterness, disappointment, difficulties and suffering. This bitterness was accentuated by the consequences of COVID-19 which began to be felt. Beside this existential malaise, there is another malaise even deeper. It is the loss of ethical benchmarks to live in a meaningful and happy way. A lot of ideas circulate around the world every day and very quickly, to the point that sometimes you don't know what to think. We are in a time when the world needs good leaders in the way of thinking and in the actions that help people develop themselves. As Christians, we are expected in this field to restore in people the joy of living through our deep joy of having God as our Father, through our hope for a better life beyond difficulties and sufferings, by our courage in the face of the challenges that today's world poses to us. We are also expected to be light for the people around us, that is, to lead them by our good example to reconnecting with the Creator of all good on the one hand and to building bridges of dialogue and solidarity between themselves on the other. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, the light of all nations, Give us the grace to always draw strength and inspiration from you so that we may make this world better from day to day. For you live and reign forever and ever.